Hello, my name's Mike M0MSN and uh, yeah, I had a lot planned for this weekend, but unfortunately uh, the weather has uh, uh, turned inclement. That's a good word, isn't it? Um, and it's been so windy that it's not been possible to do what I wanted to do. I was uh, hoping to do quite a lot with the roly coil and uh, other bits and pieces, but hey, never mind. Um, so instead I've made a plant pot or a flower pot, um, two meter and 70 centimeter aerial. I wish I'd like to share with you. So, Hello, hello. Right. Today, we're going to build the, the simplest 2 meter, 70 centimeter indoor, outdoor antenna. That's, it's so simple, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's a flower pot antenna. What I mean by that is that you can stick the antenna in a flower pot and put it out on your uh, balcony if you have one or on the patio or, or in the garden or uh, next to the window in your house um, and use it. It's uh, really quite a wonderful little aerial. It's a very, very simple antenna to build and I'm going to show you how to do it. Right. Right, we're going to need 120 centimetres or uh, four foot of 25 millimetre external diameter conduit available at all electrical retailers. Coax. Strip it back. There we are. Now we need a bit of a cable, so I'm not going to cut it to the right length. There's, there's, there's way too much there, but I need to be able to fish it through my, uh, my aerial. So we measure from the top of the pole. Okay. 45.7 plus two centimeters, so that's 45, 46, 47.7, there. That's the center point of our diapo, just there. Center point of the diapo, okay. So that is the top element or the driven element and the other part is going to be the, the shield or the ground plane side of it. So. 44.7 from here, 44.7 is there, and that is where we're going to drill a hole. Big enough for the coax to poke through. And that's the next job. Nine turns.
One, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Right. Get everything out of the way. So what we've got is a piece of wire soldered to the center point of a piece of coax. And the braid is just folded back over and, and a bit of heat shrink's been put over the top to make sure it doesn't touch the center core. Soldered on. And then we've got a bit of coax, which goes right to the end here, where it's been cut. I need to cut a driven element to 45.7 centimeters in length from where the coax external or shield stops. Okay, so I'm gonna measure that and then mark it. Okay, and then I have to mark 44.7 down the coax. And I shall mark the 44.7 centimeter point on the coax with a bit of tape because that's where the coil starts around the, uh, the former and it's a, a nine turn coil so let me just mark those and uh, we'll come back This marking is really important. It's uh, 44.7 millimeters down from the center of the diapo and marks the start of the coil. Uh, so when you pull the coax back, uh, it is the, um, the marker for that. Here we are, sticking out. So at 45.7, we snip it off. That's our driven element. Okay. And we need to tape some uh, string to it so that uh, when we pull it back through, we can attach it to the top of the uh, pole. Actually pull the coax back until you see the top of the tape. There you go, there's the tape just here. Oh, you can see that. There's the tape. Okay, we have it just so that the tape is showing. And then we start our nine turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that will be the ninth. A nine turn coil. This end, just pull tight. We'll stick um, SO2 on the end. 
one of these beasties. This is a tin foil, uh, also known as baker foil, also known as uh, whatever. Only this particular version is sticky back. It's got an adhesive side. Um, it's tin, and I need 23.5 millimetres of it in length by the circumference of the pipe. That might not be enough, but we'll have a look. Um, and I need to put that spot in the middle. So to find the middle, obviously, just do that. I need to wrap it around the centre of our pipe, like so. Now this is to give us 70 centimetre band. And the point and basically what you've got to do is just wrap it around and uh, see, see what it does on SWR just propped up against a, a chair in the uh, conservatory at the moment. Short leadish going up to SWR meter, SWR meter straight into the back of the radio. So SWR is, it doesn't move, it's zero. Okay, let's come down the band. Where should we go to? One four five five hundred. Yeah, one four five five hundred. Hang on, it might be easier if we just press that button and did things a little bit easier. Does it not work? Let's put it in. Twelve killer thing shifts. Right, five hundred. I don't move, bloody hell. Okay. Um, 1.02. This is ridiculous. Go right down to the bottom of the... Uh, One point two one. Okay, let's change bands. Let's go to one thirty. One to one. Really? That's oh, USB, no wonder. Hang on, let's put it to an FM band. One point one six, one point one seven. Let's go to a repeater. In fact, let's go to a repeater indeed. Really? Surely not. One point five. Western, 
Wow. Okay. I think that's resident pretty much everywhere. Yes, good afternoon, George. Her name here is Mike. Um, I'm in the, uh, the well, I'm in, in the city of Gloucester, um, and I've just put together a, a very quick homebrew flower pot antennae, which is a um, basically a, a, an N-fed diapo um, uh, with a with a choke on the bottom of it in, in a bit of um, water pipe. And I was just trying to see whether or not it's actually getting to the repeater, but obviously it is. So thank you very much for that check. Um, uh, it's no point in asking you, obviously, the the signal strength, but is the audio okay? Over. Thank you. 